Are you ready to start your fitness journey? This video will guide you through a full body workout routine designed for beginners. You'll learn the basics of each exercise and how to perform them correctly to maximize results and minimize the risk of injury. Let's dive right into it. First on the list is the squat. Stand tall with your feet hip width apart. Slowly bend your knees and lower your body as if you're sitting in an imaginary chair. Keep your back straight and your chest lifted. Press through your heels to return to the standing position. Do this for 20 repetitions. Next up is the push-up. Position yourself face down on the floor, hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Push your body up until your arms are fully extended, then lower your body until your chest is about an inch from the ground. Repeat this 15 times. Moving on to the plank, start on your hands and knees. Lower your forearms to the floor with elbows positioned under your shoulders and your hands shoulder width apart. Step your feet back, creating a straight line from your head to your feet. Hold this position for 30 seconds. The fourth exercise is the lunge. Stand tall with your feet hip width apart. Step forward with one foot until your leg reaches a 90 degree angle. Your rear knee should remain parallel to the ground and your front knee shouldn't go beyond your toes. Return to the standing position and swap legs. Do this 10 times for each leg. Lastly, we have the jumping jack. Stand upright with your feet hip width apart and your arms at your side. Jump up and spread your feet beyond hip width apart while bringing your arms above your head. Immediately reverse the movement to jump back to the starting position. Repeat this 20 times. To summarize, this full body workout routine consists of five exercises, squats, push-ups, planks, lunges, and jumping jacks. Start with 20 squats, followed by 15 push-ups, a 30-second plank, 10 lunges on each leg, and finish off with 20 jumping jacks. Remember, the key to a successful workout is consistency and proper form. Don't rush the exercises. Take your time to do each movement correctly. This routine is a great way to work your entire body and build a solid fitness foundation. So there you have it, a full body workout routine for beginners. Incorporate this routine into your fitness journey and you'll see improvements in strength, endurance, and overall fitness. Remember, every journey begins with a single step and you've just taken yours. Happy training. Today, we're embarking on a culinary adventure, exploring meal prep ideas designed to fuel your workouts and nourish your body. We'll be diving into the world of proteins, carbs, and all the nutrients that your body craves to power through an intense workout session. Whether you're a seasoned gym goer or just kickstarting your fitness journey, these meal prep ideas are sure to support your goals. So let's get started. First up, we've got the classic grilled chicken and veggies. Lean, mean, and packed with protein, grilled chicken is the go-to for many fitness buffs. Paired with a rainbow of veggies, this meal not only fuels your muscles, but also provides essential nutrients to keep you in top form. Next on our list is the versatile quinoa salad. Quinoa, a complete protein full of fiber, keeps you satiated and energized for longer periods. Toss in your favorite veggies, a light drizzle of olive oil, and you've got yourself a meal that's as tasty as it is nutritious. Moving on, we've got a spicy twist with our turkey and black bean stir-fry. This high-protein medley is not only a taste sensation, but also a muscle recovery champ. Add a dash of color and a vitamin boost with some bell peppers, and you're all set. For those who can't resist a good pasta dish, we suggest whole wheat pasta with tomato sauce. This is a great source of complex carbs, perfect for storing up energy for those intense sweat sessions. Toss in some lean ground turkey for an extra protein punch, and you've got a meal that's both hearty and healthy. And who can forget about our fish lovers? Baked salmon with sweet potatoes is a fantastic option. Salmon rich in omega-3 fatty acids is a heart-healthy choice, while sweet potatoes provide complex carbs for sustained energy. This combo is a true winner for both your heart and muscles. So there you have it. Five meal prep ideas to fuel your body and support your workouts throughout the week. Remember, the key to a successful fitness journey is not just about hitting the gym. It's also about what you fuel your body with. So try these meal ideas, mix and match according to your taste, and keep your nutrition game as strong as your fitness game. And remember folks, a little prep goes a long way. Happy meal prepping. So there you have it. Five meal prep ideas to fuel your body and support your workouts throughout the week. From protein-packed chicken and quinoa salads to omega-3 rich salmon, there's something for everyone. Now, it's your turn. 
Which of these tantalizing meal options are you eager to try? We're all ears, so share your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and ring the bell to stay updated. Until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, and keep crushing those fitness goals. See you in the next video. how exercise and fitness can impact your overall well-being? Well, let's embark on a journey to explore this dynamic duo that holds the power to transform lives. Exercise and fitness are not merely about slimming down to fit into your favorite pair of jeans or bulking up to showcase those coveted six-pack abs. It's far more profound. It's about enhancing your quality of life, boosting your mental health, and building a resilient body that can withstand the test of time. In the simplest terms, exercise refers to any movement that makes your muscles work and requires your body to burn calories. Fitness, on the other hand, is a state of health and well-being where you can perform aspects of sports, occupations, and daily activities without undue fatigue. Together they form a harmonious blend that fuels the body, mind, and soul. Leading an active lifestyle filled with regular exercise and a focus on fitness can significantly improve health and wellness. It's a natural mood lifter, a stress buster, a sleep enhancer, and a chronic disease defender. It's a ticket to a longer, healthier, and happier life. But where should one start? How to incorporate exercise into a busy schedule? What type of workout is best for a particular body type or health condition? These are some of the questions that may baffle many of us. That's where this video steps in. Our aim is to provide insights on fitness and exercise, to break down the complex jargon, and to make this journey to a healthier you an enjoyable and sustainable one. To do this, we've lined up interviews with fitness experts who will share their wisdom, experiences, and practical tips. They'll help us understand the importance of regular exercise, how to build a balanced workout routine, the role of nutrition, and the often overlooked connection between mental health and exercise. So, gear up for an enlightening ride through the world of fitness. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the world of fitness with our esteemed experts. We have with us today an experienced fitness expert who will shed light on the importance of regular exercise. Regular exercise, our fitness guru emphasizes, is like the magic potion of life. It's not just about looking good or fitting into that favorite pair of jeans. It's about enhancing the quality of life, from boosting energy levels to reducing health risks. Regular physical activity can help prevent heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. It's also a natural mood lifter helping to combat depression and anxiety. But how much exercise is enough? Our expert advises that the amount varies depending on one's age, health status, and personal goals. For general health benefits, adults should aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity or 75 minutes of high-intensity exercise each week. For children and adolescents, an hour of physical activity per day is recommended. Remember, it's not about going extreme. It's about consistency and making exercise a part of your lifestyle. There are also a few misconceptions floating around about exercise. One common myth is that you need to hit the gym to get fit. But our expert says, that's not true. 
Exercise can take many forms, from dancing and gardening to walking the dog. What's important is to find an activity you enjoy and stick to it. Another misconception is that exercise will make you tired. But in reality, regular physical activity actually boosts your energy levels. It's like a natural energy drink without the sugar and calories. Lastly, many people believe that they're too old or too out of shape to start exercising. But our expert assures us that it's never too late to start. In fact, as we age, exercise becomes even more important to maintain strength, flexibility, and balance. That was enlightening. Regular exercise indeed plays a crucial role in our health. Our next expert will guide us on how to build a balanced workout routine. When it comes to fitness, it's not just about pumping iron or running for miles on end. It's about creating a balanced routine that incorporates a variety of exercises. Our expert today will shed light on this very aspect. A balanced workout routine, as our expert explains, is like a three-legged stool. The first leg is strength training. This involves exercises that target major muscle groups. Lifting weights, push-ups, pull-ups, squats are a few examples. Strength training helps in building muscle mass and increasing metabolic rate. The second leg is cardio. This includes any activity that raises your heart rate. Running, swimming, cycling, dancing, or even brisk walking can be great cardio workouts. Cardio enhances cardiovascular health, burns calories, and improves overall stamina. The third leg is flexibility exercises. This includes activities like yoga, pilates, or simple stretching exercises. Flexibility training helps improve your range of motion, reduces the risk of injury, and aids in muscle recovery. But how do we maintain consistency, you ask? Our expert suggests setting a schedule and sticking to it. Treat your workout like any other important appointment. Don't negotiate with yourself about it. It's also important to find a workout that you genuinely enjoy. If you love dancing, make that your cardio. If you like the outdoors, take up cycling or running. Another tip our expert shares is to mix up your workouts. Doing the same routine over and over can become monotonous and lead to a plateau in your progress. So try new exercises, join a class, or try a new sport. Lastly, remember to listen to your body. If you're feeling tired or experiencing pain, give yourself a break. Rest and recovery are just as important as the workout itself. Building a balanced workout routine is key to reaping the full benefits of exercise. Thank you for those valuable tips. We now have a nutritionist who will enlighten us about the relationship between nutrition and exercise. When we talk about fitness, we often think of physical activities such as running, lifting weights, or yoga. But there's another critical component to fitness and that's nutrition. Just as you wouldn't expect a car to run well without the right fuel, your body won't perform at its best without the right nutrients. A balanced diet is the cornerstone of any fitness regimen. The food we eat provides the energy we need to exercise and the building blocks for healing and growth. While every person's nutritional needs are unique, a balanced diet typically includes a mix of carbohydrates for energy, proteins for muscle growth and recovery, and healthy fats for satiety and overall health. But it's not just about what you eat, it's also about when you eat. Eating at the right times can optimize your energy levels and recovery. For instance, eating a meal with protein and carbohydrates within an hour after a workout can jumpstart the recovery process and replenish energy stores. Hydration is another key aspect of nutrition that's often overlooked. Water plays a crucial role in almost every bodily function, including digestion, nutrient absorption, and temperature regulation. When we exercise, we lose water through sweat, and it's important to replace those losses to maintain our performance and health. A common mistake many people make when they start exercising is drastically changing their diet or falling for fad diets. While it's true that some adjustments may be necessary, it's essential to maintain a balanced, varied diet. Cutting out entire food groups or drastically reducing caloric intake can lead to nutrient deficiencies and hinder performance and recovery. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to nutrition and exercise. What works for one person may not work for another. The key is to listen to your body, make mindful choices, and seek guidance from a professional if you're unsure. Nutrition and exercise go hand in hand. Thank you for those insightful tips. Scene script. Next up, we have a mental health expert who will discuss the connection between mental health and exercise. Delving into the complexities of the human mind, it's fascinating to see how physical activity can have such profound impacts on our mental health. Exercise in its various forms can serve as a powerful tool in managing and alleviating symptoms of mental health disorders like anxiety and depression. The science behind this is quite compelling. 
When we exercise, our body releases endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones. These endorphins interact with the receptors in our brains that reduce our perception of pain, leading to feelings of positivity and a decrease in stress levels. For someone grappling with anxiety, engaging in regular physical activity can help manage stress and improve mood. It provides a natural and healthy method to cope, instead of resorting to harmful habits or behaviors. On the other hand, for those who are battling depression, exercise can act as a natural antidepressant. It not only uplifts mood but also helps in improving sleep patterns and boosting self-esteem. However, starting an exercise regime can be a daunting task, especially for those wrestling with mental health issues. Here are a few tips to make the journey easier. Firstly, choose an activity that you enjoy. Be it dancing, yoga, or a simple walk in the park. The key is to make exercise fun and not a chore. Secondly, start small. Even a few minutes of physical activity can make a significant difference. Gradually increase the duration as your strength and stamina improve. Lastly, remember it's okay to have off days. Don't beat yourself up if you miss a day or two. The important thing is to get back on track and keep moving forward. In essence, exercise plays a crucial role in maintaining and enhancing mental health. It acts as a natural remedy for stress, anxiety, and depression, promoting overall well-being and positivity. So, let's lace up our sneakers and take a step towards a healthier mind and a happier life. Exercise is not just about physical health but mental health too. Thank you for that enlightening discussion. We've learned a lot today about exercise and fitness. Our journey began with an introduction to exercise and fitness, setting the stage for our deep dive into this crucial aspect of a healthy lifestyle. We explored the myriad benefits of regular exercise and how it goes beyond just physical well-being. Regular exercise can play a pivotal role in our lives helping us maintain a healthy weight, enhance cardiovascular health, improve mood and mental health, and even boost our energy levels. It's not about striving for perfection but rather consistency. Even small, regular bouts of physical activity can make a meaningful difference in our overall health. Next, we turned our attention to the art of building a balanced workout routine. This is where we learned that not all exercises are created equal. A well-rounded routine encompasses various types of workouts, including strength training, cardiovascular activities, and flexibility exercises. We saw that there's no one-size-fits-all approach. Instead, the key is to tailor your workout routine to your individual needs and goals, ensuring it's sustainable and enjoyable for you. From there, we delved into the intricate relationship between nutrition and exercise. We learned that food is the fuel that powers our workouts and aids in recovery and muscle growth. A balanced diet, rich in protein, complex carbohydrates, healthy fats, and a variety of fruits and vegetables can enhance our performance, speed up recovery, and help us achieve our fitness goals. It's not just what we eat, but also when we eat, that matters. Timing our meals and snacks can have a significant impact on our energy levels during workouts and recovery afterward. Last but not least, we explored the profound connection between mental health and exercise. Physical activity is a powerful tool for managing stress, anxiety, and depression. Regular exercise can boost our mood, improve sleep quality, and even enhance our cognitive function. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good too. Throughout this journey, we heard from fitness experts who shared their insights, experiences, and practical tips. They underscored the importance of setting realistic goals, listening to our bodies, and finding joy in movement. They reminded us that fitness is not a destination but a lifelong journey filled with ups and downs. So, what's the takeaway? Exercise is not a luxury but a necessity. It's not about vanity but vitality. It's not about fitting into a particular size or achieving a specific number on the scale, but about nourishing our bodies and minds, enhancing our quality of life, and investing in our long-term health and happiness. Remember, exercise is a key component of a healthy lifestyle. Incorporate what you've learned today into your routine for a healthier, happier you.
Ever wondered what would happen if you did three one-minute planks every day? Well, brace yourself for some intriguing revelations. Planking, a simple yet effective bodyweight exercise, has been in the spotlight for quite some time now. This humble exercise, requiring nothing but a bit of your time and determination, can work wonders on your body. Firstly, planking strengthens your core, those muscles in your stomach and back that serve as the foundation for nearly every movement your body makes. A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that participants who incorporated planks into their routines improved their core endurance and stability significantly more than those who didn't. So if you're aiming for a strong core, three one-minute planks a day can be your ticket. Now imagine the benefits of a well-toned core. Better posture, reduced back pain, and an overall enhanced physical performance. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? Indeed it is. A study in the Archives of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation found that those who plank regularly have a lower risk of back injuries. Wait, there's more! Planking also helps improve your metabolism. Yes, you heard it right. According to a study in the European Journal of Applied Physiology, planking, being an isometric exercise, helps increase your resting metabolic rate. That means, even when you're at rest, your body continues to burn calories. But the benefits of planking don't stop at physical health. Planking can also have a positive impact on your mental health. A study in the Journal of Physical Activity and Health found that exercises like planking can help reduce anxiety and improve mood. So, what does all this mean? Three one-minute planks a day can help you strengthen your core, improve your posture, reduce back pain, boost your metabolism, and even enhance your mood. It's a small investment of time for a wealth of health benefits. Remember, consistency is key. The benefits of planking are cumulative, meaning the more you do it, the more you'll see and feel the results. So why not make planking a part of your daily routine? In summary, planking is a simple, effective exercise that offers numerous health benefits. From a stronger core to a better mood, the potential benefits are plenty. All it takes is three one-minute planks a day. So why not give it a try? After all, the best project you'll ever work on is you. This is your journey, your body, your health. Dare to make a change. The power is in your hands, or rather, in your core. And who knows, maybe the next time someone asks, ever wondered what would happen if you did three one-minute planks every day? You can answer with a confident smile, yes, and it's fantastic. Ever feel like you're running on a treadmill, but not the kind that burns calories? The kind that involves juggling work, family, and personal commitments, leaving little to no time for that crucial component of a balanced lifestyle, exercise. The problem, it seems, isn't the lack of desire to get fit, but the lack of a suitable, effective, and convenient workout routine. Enter the solution, a high-energy, full-body workout routine that requires nothing more than your willpower and a few household items. No fancy gym equipment, no expensive memberships, just you and your determination. First in line is the good old-fashioned push-up. A push-up engages your core, chest, shoulders, triceps, and even your glutes and hamstrings. It's like a full body workout rolled into one simple move. Start with your hands shoulder width apart. Keep your body straight. Lower yourself until your chest nearly touches the floor and then push back up. Repeat this as many times as you can. Next up, the timeless classic, squats. This powerhouse exercise targets your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. Stand tall with your feet hip width apart, then lower your body as far as you can by pushing your hips back and bending your knees. Pause and slowly push yourself back to the starting position. Now, let's take a seat, but not for a break. Chair dips are next. This exercise targets your triceps, shoulders, and chest. Position your hands shoulder width apart on a chair or bench. Slide your bottom off the chair with your legs extended out in front of you. Slowly bend your elbows to lower your body towards the floor until your elbows are at about a 90 degree angle. Then, press down into the chair to return to the starting position. The next exercise is the plank. This is a fantastic exercise for strengthening your core, improving your posture, and enhancing your overall body stability. Position your elbows directly beneath your shoulders, Keep your body straight from head to heels and hold this position for as long as you can. Lastly, we have the jumping jacks, an excellent cardio exercise that also works your whole body. Stand upright with your feet together and hands at your sides. Jump up, 
spread your feet and swing your arms above your head, then jump back to the starting position. Keep the pace up and feel your heart rate increase. There you have it, a full body workout routine that you can do right at home without any special equipment. Each of these exercises not only helps you burn calories, but also strengthens and tones your muscles, improves your cardiovascular health, and boosts your overall fitness. Remember, the journey to fitness doesn't happen overnight. It takes consistency, effort, and a positive mindset. Don't be discouraged if you can't perform many repetitions at first. As you continue, you'll build strength and endurance. And remember, the best workout routine is the one that you stick to. So, adapt this routine to fit your schedule and physical capabilities. Maybe start with a few repetitions of each exercise and gradually increase. Share your progress and journey with others. You never know who might find inspiration in your story, who might join you in this quest for fitness. After all, there's no better motivation than seeing the fruits of your hard work and determination. So, why wait? Start your workout journey today. And remember, the only bad workout is the one that didn't happen. As you embark on this journey to a healthier, fitter you, remember to celebrate every milestone, no matter how small it may seem. Every push-up, every squat, every plank holds the promise of a stronger, healthier you. So, get up, get moving, and make every day a step towards your fitness goals. It's time to turn your home into your personal fitness studio. Your journey to fitness starts now. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, a healthier you is just a workout away. Stay fit, stay healthy, and keep moving forward. Do you know the benefits of exercising for just 30 minutes a week at home? Well, let's embark on a journey together to uncover the immense potential of such a deceptively simple routine. First off, the convenience of home workouts is a game changer. No more commuting to the gym or planning your day around a fitness class. By exercising at home, you save time and money giving you more freedom to focus on the things that matter most to you. Now let's dive into the physical benefits. Working out for just 30 minutes a week can significantly improve cardiovascular health. It helps to lower blood pressure, reduce cholesterol, and decrease the risk of heart disease. It's not all about the heart though. Regular home exercise also strengthens the muscles and bones. This is particularly important as we age since it helps to prevent osteoporosis and muscle loss. It also improves balance and coordination reducing the risk of falls and injuries. But that's not all. Exercise is a proven mood booster. It releases endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals, which can help to reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. Plus, accomplishing a workout, no matter how small, can give a sense of achievement and boost self-esteem. Importantly, home workouts offer the flexibility to tailor your routine to your needs and preferences. From yoga and Pilates to weightlifting and high-intensity interval training, the possibilities are endless. You can mix and match, experiment, and find what works best for you. So, to sum up, exercising for just 30 minutes a week at home can offer a wealth of benefits. It's convenient, cost-effective, and customizable. It can improve your physical health, boost your mood, and give you a sense of achievement. Remember, it's not about being the strongest or the fastest. It's about taking that first step and making a commitment to your health and well-being. So why not give it a try? You might just find that it's the best 30 minutes you spend each week. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Stay healthy, stay active, and remember, your home is your gym. Here's to a healthier you. Surprisingly, 73% of people who set fitness goals as their New Year's resolution give up before meeting their objective. The main reason? Unrealistic expectations. They aim for quick results, neglect their lifestyle, and fail to track progress. But don't worry, there's a better way to set achievable fitness goals, and fitness expert Nick Watts is here to share his insights. Nick Watts emphasizes that understanding your current fitness level is the first step towards success. A clear, specific fitness goal is the roadmap that guides you towards this success. Whether it's losing weight, gaining muscle, or improving cardiovascular health, your goal should be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Realistic timeframes are crucial to avoid frustration and burnout. 
Tailor your goals to fit your lifestyle, taking into account your daily schedule and commitments. And don't forget to mix it up. Balance and variety in your workout routines will keep things interesting and prevent burnout. As Nick Watts often says, your fitness journey is unique to you. Setting goals that reflect your reality is key. According to Nick Watts, accountability and support can make or break your fitness journey. Sharing your goals with friends, family, or a fitness community creates a robust support system. Tracking progress encourages consistency and motivation. Remember to be adaptable, life is unpredictable and your fitness goals should be flexible. Most importantly, listen to your body. Avoid the pitfalls of overtraining by recognizing the need for rest and recovery. Remember, as Nick Watts advises, fitness is not just about scale victories. Celebrate improvements in energy, mood, sleep, and overall well-being. Now that you're equipped with expert advice from Nick Watts, it's time to set your own realistic fitness goals. Recap, implement, and adapt these tips to your lifestyle. Start today, and remember, every step you take brings you closer to your goal. For more fitness advice, subscribe to Nick Watts Fitness and join our community. We're here to support your journey to a healthier you.